<clears throat> I'm uh, very pleased and honored to um, have Mr. John Yubel to speak with us. He's uh, been one of the premier spokesmen for our movement and our cause. And uh, all I can say is, uh, John. Thank you very much for having me and, of course, inviting me today. When I first heard of the opportunity, it was something that I wanted to jump at because I tell you the opportunities to speak are actually pretty few and far between, unfortunately. So to put together events like this takes a lot of work, and I really think that we should give Dennis a round of applause for doing this because it's very stressful and it takes a lot of time and energy out of, out of the organizer, the coordinator of an event. So definitely a lot of work. For those of you who don't know me, I'm originally from Pasco County. I've lived down there all my life. In 2006, I ran for Mosquito Board, and in 2008, I ran for a state rep seat. So I'm just going to go ahead and start with my speech here. Just bear with me one second, please. My political journey began when I was in high school. During my last two years of high school, I was involved in my teenage Republican club. And during my senior year, I did a lot of different activities with them. We helped candidates obtain signatures to get on the ballot. We also passed out campaign literature. We went to a host of different political functions, including different political dinners. I actually attended one down at the Bellevue Mito where I saw Margaret Thatcher speak. And she is a dynamic speaker. I had known during my senior year that at some point later in life I wanted to run for some political office. I just didn't know at what point in life and what that office might be. After high school I went and I attended community college at Pasco Hernando Community College and I was taking business classes at the time. For a short while while going to school, I was involved with our county's Republican Executive Committee. That stint only lasted a few months because I became very disenchanted with the way that the, that the committee was run and the policies that they were putting forth. So I dropped out of that, and then I started becoming active with a political action group. And my activities were pretty much limited to writing and marketing, advertising, those types of things. It wasn't until 2006 did I run for my first political office, which was Pasco County Mosquito Control Board, which was a low, actually the lowest level countywide seat that, that a person could run for. I learned a lot from that campaign, especially the mechanics of how a campaign works in regards to filing, how to do fundraising, and a host of other campaign functions, because I wasn't only the candidate in that race, I was also the campaign manager. So I was wearing two hats, and I learned a lot. It was a really good experience. In the next election cycle, which was 2008, I ran for state representative. I ran as an independent. There was the Republican incumbent in that race who was John Legg. He was, uh, I believe that was his third term running. And there was also a Democratic challenger. The state rep campaign was a lot more involved, especially in regards to speaking engagements because during that campaign I was invited to six different ones and I attended five of those. Of the five that I attended, one of them was a debate at one of the campuses for Pasco Hernando Community College and then I also attended a candidate forum at Newport Ritchie's City Hall. And one thing, well probably the single biggest thing that I took away from that campaign was that if you're gonna get serious about politics and if you're gonna run for office as a candidate, you definitely want to brush up on your public speaking skills because it's essential. Now, one thing in the state rep race that I didn't have an advantage of was money because I was only able to raise about $5,000. The incumbent raised 200000 And the Democratic challenger was somewhere in the $20,000 range. But what I, where I was able to meet them was in the realm of public speaking because I've... Over the last three years, I've been active with the Toastmasters group in Spring Hill, Florida. 
And what they do, what Toastmasters does is it helps you become a better, better speaker. And they do this through a variety of ways. They bring all the different elements of public speaking together, such as how to compose a speech, how to deliver it, how to use effective body language, eye contact, and also how to give proper presentations. So if you're serious about wanting to get involved as a candidate or run as a candidate in any kind of office, I strongly encourage you to check out Toastmasters because they have chapters all over the world. I know that there's one here in Citrus County and there's actually two down in Pasco.